Hey, do you remember studying about linear equations in class 9? Well, yes or no, I am going to give you a quick recap anyway before we move ahead. Okay, so let's consider the linear equation x plus 3, which is equal to 0. Now, you know that we can easily solve it by taking 3 to the right hand side or RHS of the equation where 3 becomes minus 3. So if you look at x now, x is equal to minus 3. Fairly simple, right? Now, let's make it a little more interesting. What if I add another variable, say y to the same equation? Wait, now look at this. x plus y is equal to 3. Great. So here we have two variables in the same equation. And even this case, the maximum degree of any variable is 1, right? And any equation where the maximum degree of the variable is 1 is called a linear equation. Consider the linear equations 5x plus y plus 8 is equal to 0 and minus 7x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. Let's begin with first drawing the graph for each of these equations. First, draw the x-axis and the y-axis. Mark the intersection of these axes as 0, which is the origin. Next, mark equidistant points on the x and y-axis and number them 1, 2, 3 and so on. So let's move on to plotting the equations. Now consider the first equation 5x plus y plus 8 equal to 0. Let's fix y on the left side and take the other two terms on the right side. And we have y is equal to minus 5x minus 8. To draw the graph of this equation, we will need at least three points. For this, we will consider three different values of x. First, we'll take x is equal to 0. So when we use this value of x in the equation, y is equal to minus 5x minus 8, we will get y is equal to minus 5 into 0 minus 8, which is equal to 0 minus 8, that is minus 8. So x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 8 is a solution of the first equation. And what does that mean? Yes, if we plot the point 0 comma minus 8 on the graph, it will lie on the line representing the equation 5x plus y plus 8. So let's plot 0 comma minus 8 on the graph. Take a look at it. You can see that it is a point that is lying on the y-axis. Let's call it as a. Next, take x is equal to 1 so that we get y is equal to minus 5 into 1 minus 8, which is equal to minus 5 minus 8, which is equal to minus 13. So, let us plot the point 1 comma minus 13 and let's call this as point B. Hmm. Now, let's make this a little interesting by taking a negative value for x. Yet, we'll keep it simple and take x is equal to minus 1. So substituting x is equal to minus 1, we will get y is equal to minus 5 into minus 1, the whole minus 8, which will give us 5 minus 8, that is minus 3. Again, let's plot the point minus 1 comma minus 3 on the graph and call it C. So if you have a look at this table, it shows the values of x and the corresponding values of y that form the solutions of the first equation. Also, we see how these values are used to plot the points a, b and c. And when we join these three points, they will form a straight line. Now, let it extend on both sides. With a similar approach, let's now move on to the second equation which is given to us as minus 7x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. 
Again, let's rewrite it by keeping y on the left hand side or LHS and taking the rest of the equation on the right hand side or the RHS. So we will get y is equal to 7x plus 4. In this rewritten equation, we first put x is equal to 0, which will give us y equal to 7 into 0 plus 4, which is equal to 4. We'll then plot the point 0 comma 4 and name it as p. Next, when we put x is equal to 1, we get y is equal to 7 into 1 plus 4, which is 7 plus 4, that is equal to 11. So the next point we have is 1 comma 11. We plot it and name it q. Finally, let's take x as minus 1, substituting which we will get y is equal to 7 into minus 1, the whole plus 4, which is minus 7 plus 4. That is equal to minus 3. So our third point is minus 1 comma minus 3 and we name it r. Again, let's look at this table where we see all the values of y corresponding to the different values of x and then how these values form the points p, q and r. Now, when we join the plotted points p, q and r, we will again get a straight line. Let's extend this line on both the sides. So here we have the straight line graph of two different equations plotted on the same graph. Now, do you see any connection between these two lines? Well, if you look closely, you will see that these two straight lines are actually intersecting at a point right here. And can you see the coordinates of these points? Well, this point of intersection of the two lines has the coordinates x equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 3. Since this point lies on the lines of both the equations, we can conclude that this point satisfies both the equations at the same time. Right? Therefore, we see that this point of intersection of the two straight lines representing the two equations is the solution of our given pair of equations. Like I said, these values of x and y will satisfy both of our given equations. So we have this conclusion on the graph. Let us verify this by substituting these values in the equation that we have here. We have the value of x as minus 1 and y as minus 3. Now the first equation becomes 5 into minus 1 minus 3 plus 8 and 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 minus 3 plus 8 which is equal to minus 8 plus 8 and that comes out to be 0 which is the RHS of the equation. Therefore x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 3 satisfies the first equation. Let us put these values in the second equation. If we substitute the value of x as minus 1 and y as minus 3, we get minus 7 into minus 1, which is 7 minus 3 minus 4, which is 7 minus 7, that is equal to 0. Again, equal to the RHS of the second equation. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 3 also satisfies the second equation and we can conclude that this point gives us a common solution for both the equations at the same time. However, why do we need to study these types of linear equations at all? Also, is there any other way to solve them? Let's dive deeper into this. Tutamate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.